what a privilege and an honor it is, you may be seated, to have you all here today to celebrate with us and to bear witness to this marriage ceremony. Before we begin, let's pray blessings on Alex and Kelsey and thank God for this day today. Father, you are so full of blessings and grace and goodness. Everything you are deserves our praise. Thank you, Jesus, for going before us to prepare a place for your bride. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being within us and all around us today, for your seal of approval on this wedding ceremony. We ask now that you would bless Alex and Kelsey's marriage with many, many years of happiness and prosperity. We ask that you would give them ears that can hear their spouse's heart. Hands that seek to serve the other before themselves. A soul that longs for you and for each other. And feet that always point home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, I'll say what a privilege and an honor it is for you all to be here and for me to stand and to help you guys through these vows. Marriage is God's favorite way to teach us and to show the world His love. When we seek our spouse with relentless pursuit, always seeking to engage with them, no matter how tired we are, how long it's been, no matter the obstacle that it is, we relentlessly pursue them to engage with their hearts and to know them. And in that knowledge, the fruit of that endless pursuit, we can offer them unconditional acceptance for who they are as they are not hold them up against an unspoken list of unattainable prerequisites for our love. And that's God's perfect image of love. But in that, because we're not perfect, we will fail. And even in that opportunity of failure, we can give our spouse unconditional forgiveness. Endless forgiveness, time and time again, day after day. And in that, we truly reflect God's love for His bride and for us, to the world and to our spouse. This is a lifelong endeavor. It's worthwhile. It's honoring to God. And it captures the heart of heaven. It's so exciting, you guys, because this is the beginning. But it's also sobering because it's a heavy responsibility. But you two are ready for it. And now you want to symbolize this commitment that you're making today by tying a knot together because a triple braided cord is not easily broken. With one cord being Kelsey, one cord being Alex, and the third being God. With Christ as the center, even a rope can endure forever. With this ring, I, Alex, take you, Kelsey, take you, Kelsey, to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. 
according to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge. And thereto I pledge. Myself to you. Myself to you. By the power vested in me, I declare you man and wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Kelsey Mori. <laughs>
Now this is a story all about how my sister's life turned upside down and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you all about how they became a pair. <laughs> Most of our days chilling out maxing relaxing all cool showing mom and dad all of our dope moves in a couple of years we pick and we choose starting stealing you know, to see madden shoes we got one little fight and our mom just glared she said you're gonna learn to love so you better be prepared little did she know she was so right that day partners in crime some people might say i'd like to thank my parents for giving me the best bill in bessie and you know all the rest Yo, yeah, little sis, yo, this is bad. Her attitude gave me all my great sass. Is this what other siblings live like? Hmm, this might be all right. Other guys were called and got kicked to the curb, but when he came around, she must thought he was superb. She's a riot. She's hard to bear. I hope he's prepared for the princess right there. <laughs> Well, uh, this is where Alex has come into play. I always wanted a big bro, and I got one today. I ain't trying to give up the mic. Yo, I just got here. I'll try to hurry up, and then I'll disappear. They met over Insta, and when it came near, the single status changed, and it became clear. If anything, I could say this love is rare, but I thought, yeah, let's get it. Put your hands in the air. <laughs> little thing I still have to say. This isn't goodbye. It's just, yo, see you later. Alex, look in my eyes. I'm standing right here. You better treat her right or I'll kick you in the rear. <laughs> yeah. If we could only get her to come out of her shell a little bit. <laughs> All right, our best man, Mickey Mori. You've got to follow that, my friend. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? I can't follow that up. That was awesome. Man. Um, I'm going to just speak from my heart. Uh, first of all, I just want to start out with, uh, by saying uh, about Kelsey. You know, me and, me and my wife, we, we pray for this, you know. You know, just bringing a good wife to Alex, and we couldn't hand pick you, but God hand picked you. And he already knew what He set y'all up to be a couple, and uh, we just love you so much. And you're so smart, and she's a hard worker. I mean, she would study and study. So everything they got together, they they deserve it because she put in the time and the effort. And the other thing about Kelsey, I like real people, and Kelsey's real. She don't. I don't think she owns a fake face. If something's wrong with her, you're gonna know it. I mean, it's just, you're just a real person. And um, I just want to say, we just love you. And thank you. I mean, part of our family, daughter-in-law. I mean, can't you ask for nothing else? I'm just a blessed man. I'm so blessed. Now for Alex, he's every son that a dad would want. I mean... He's smart. I, when it comes to Alex, I say, Alex has got the most brains of the family. He is super smart. He would come home and he would study. He would go to work, come home and study, go to work, come home and study. He put the time, he put the energy into it. And a lot of y'all really don't know Alex. Like if you get the, you think Alex is shy and you know, kind of like, pretty much if you don't know Alex, he's kind of like laid back and shy. But if you know Alex, if you know Alex, he will, he will talk your head off. I mean, if you know Alex, get him on the basketball court, get him any competition spirit, he's going to be the loudest one. And he is so fun to be around. Alex is, I would say, just, he's just cool. Alex, he's fun. Like, we went on vacation together this year, and then like when Alex had to leave, he had to leave early and go to work. And all, everybody was like, we want Alex back. You know, he's so fun. He keeps us busy. You can't be bored around Alex. He is wide open. But um, I love Alex with all my heart. You know, um, 
And I'm going to just share this. It, you know, life is full of decisions. You know, every one of us in here has made a decision. And life is full of decisions. When I was 18 years old, I had to make a decision. And my decision has put me in a place where I am now. You know, I used to cry and I used to ask God, you know, why? I, I just feel so much favor. Why am I so blessed with my kids? You know, the word says that they might stray away, but they're coming back. But i just being so blessed they're not straight away. And it was a decision at 18 years old that I did to accept what I had to accept as a man to, to move my life where it is now. And now I'm just like in a reaping season. I just can't handpick no better person than, than Kelsey, Michaela, Will. I mean, I'm just so blessed and that's all I got to say. Thank y'all. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. The way you're moving, it's got me moving. feeling that I could ever dare to dream is you forever moving next to me let's not waste time or take this slow we've got miles behind us but miles to go so let's just break this down to the simplest truth Let's just break this down to the simplest truth.